Hey guys, welcome to my Blade Dancer overview. So, first things first, what spec should you play? A lot of people ask me this question, should I go Lightning or Wind? And all I can say is just play whichever one you like. There's really not much difference in DPS late game anyway. So Lightning is more like a face roll single target DPS, and Wind is more like an AoE bursty rotation based DPS. And that's about it, just choose whichever one you like. I personally like Wind more because it's more fun and there's more variation to it, but you know. Lightning is also more free, meaning you can basically Q or E whenever you want. And in Wind build, you might get animation locked and then you can't iframe and end up screwing up super hard. But that's about it for that. Let's move on. So, I'm going to be talking about Lightning BDs mainly in this video, and there's not much difference in the positioning of a Blade Dancer in a dungeon or raid anyway, it doesn't matter what spec you choose. So, Lightning BD. These are the skills or the, the specs that I take. I'll go over them really quickly. Uh, left click, you want to take the increased speed. Thunder, take the right one because you never want to use it in a boss fight anyway, so you don't care about the damage. All you want is the range for the convenience for mob clearing and stuff, you know. Storm Cleave, not much to it. Lightning Drop. Three reasons why you should not take double cast. One, they're actually removing this very soon. Two, it does not do more damage, I've tested it. Three, your AoE one will actually proc things like your weapon buff and your earring buff, your ring buff. It will actually proc things. So this one is simply better than the double cast. Never take the double cast. Thunder Slash, not much to it. The other two is useless in PvE. Maelstrom, they are changing this too, but I take the solo one for two reasons. One. It does not blade lock me, so I can use it when I get a legendary reset right away, and I have to wait for the blade lock. And two, it will actually remove all debuffs, things like poisons, bleed, things like that, unless it's iron locked, of course. And Z, not much to it, take this one for damage. If you're dying, take the middle one. The third one is for PvP only, if you have a an Ascendant, let's say, because the cooldown is super long. But this one is very OP, though. It will resist chill effects. You'll still get the chill stack, but... Chill will no longer disable your X or your 2. Uh, next one, Flash Step. This one is just super convenient. The middle one. Stun, if you take it if you need it, if you want it. An extra stun is always nice if you need it. Um, this one will also take you behind the enemy, meaning it's basically like a Q or E that stuns and doesn't iframe you. That's Lightning Strike. And Blade Guard? I think that you should never take Blade Guard because most boss attacks you can just sidestep anyway, so you really don't need this one. Even for tanking, you can just take it for fun if you want to, but I don't really see a point in taking it. Flicker, once PvP, once PvE, the left one is PvE, the right one is PvP, that's it. Phantom Grip, the middle tree Phantom Grip is only for Hive Queen. If you need to solo grip spiders, take the middle tree Phantom Grip, it will knock them back. Other than that, never take the middle tree. Right tree, only take it in arena PvP or in sixes if you don't care about your teammates' damage. You know, if you don't need restraint, take the third tree because it's on a shorter cooldown. The first one will give you restraint, so use it for boss fights, use it for sixes, you know. Raid, never take the one on the right unless you want to troll. Stick with the sun if you don't want to troll. And spin, a lot of people stick with parry even when they don't need it. All I have to say is, Never take parry if you don't need it. Only take parry if you need to. If you need to block balls, if you need it to do max, take parry. If you don't, then don't take it. Damage reduction will always give you a speed boost, meaning if you have to step on flowers, if you have to share a buff with a teammate, use, you can use it as a speed boost. And that's about it for the main skills. Locking skills. I like uh, locking dive bomb for obvious reasons. It is a super useless skill with a very long animation in PvE. Just overall trash. And all the airborne skills. I keep take flight because I might still need to airborne some enemies like the third floor in Black Tower, things like that. But all, the, all of the other skills I might use by accident, if someone else airborne's the boss by accident and I'm trying to flicker, it will use ascend and take me out of draw stance, which really sucks. Okay, so Blade Answer. Um, what is your playstyle like, and what do I mean by phase roll DPS? Now, after you get your limitless soul badge, and, um, you know, that's about it. After you get that and your ASAT VT soul shields, all you do is roll your phase on your keyboard and any cancel. 
meaning you use these four skills off cooldown, except for Stormcleave. You want to use that after your second Thunder Slash. I'll show you that really quick. So my second Thunder Slash is coming up, and then I use Stormcleave with that. And that's about it. That's Lightning Blade Answer. From that point on, you just use everything off cooldown. Not everything, but these four skills off cooldown. If you screw up, or if you lag, or if you glitch, and you end up out of combat, and all of your skills are on cooldown, just use our ultimate. That will take you back into draw stance. And that's Lightning Blade Dancer. So, what are Blade Dancers good at? Or why would a team want to take a Blade, uh, a blade Dancer? Basically one reason, DPS. Everything else a BD has to offer can easily be replaced. Things like Maelstrom, it can be replaced by a BM. Phantom Grip can be replaced by a Destroyer. You know, just easily replaceable. All you can offer is DPS. And that is a BD's role. Just DPS. Lightning is phase roll DPS and Wind is rotation based DPS and bursty DPS. So, choose whichever one you like. I hope you guys enjoy Blade Dancers. I most certainly do enjoy Blade Dancers, and if you have any questions, or if you have any suggestions or ideas, feel free to share it in the comments or add me on Discord, and thank you guys for watching, have a nice day!